A daughter and mother have about two weeks before they're forced to move their mobile home. In mid-March, they got an eviction notice from Amherst Ridge Mobile Home Park because they were a few days late in paying their lot rent. WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare says it's not the first time the park has tried to kick out its older residents, Don. That's right, Lori. Last summer, a 60-year-old grandmother received an eviction notice for failing to cut her grass. Now a 75-year-old widow and her daughter have been served notice they have until mid-April to move out. They were behind paying their rent because two months ago they had been in a car wreck. Quickly, their medical bills and other expenses added up, and there was little money left to cover their rent. Phyllis Knuckles and her daughter Tammy Hunley, both are widows, are being kicked out of their mobile home community. They've lived together and have owned this single wide trailer since 2018. They pay lot rent to the Amherst Ridge Mobile Home Park, which is owned by the Yes Communities. It's a notice to vacate. This eviction notice received March 15th gave them 30 days to leave. It's from our office manager, Jerry Day. Tammy and her mom have poor health and they live on limited fixed incomes. Their $449 lot rent was always paid on time until this month. I've never been one day late with a lot payment. Yet yeah, you missed it? Just this month. One time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's a few days, not months, days. We had a bad car wreck the last of January. Oh. And you can see where... Mrs. Knuckles' wrist was broken and her shoulder injured and the medical bills mounted. Mrs. Hunley's hand was broken. Then there is the stress of having to pay thousands to move their trailer and then find a new lot for it. It made my stress level go up. It made my heart rate go up. My, yeah, my blood sugar's been out of sorts ever since this started. I don't sleep. I don't know what we're going to do. Did you explain that to the management here, that you, you fell behind because of all these injuries? He says it doesn't matter. You have to pay your bills no matter what happens to you. In February, they reached out to Knox Housing Assistance for emergency rental help. But this text from the group says it may take 65 days to process the grant. You don't see him. He's very seldom ever here. There's no making an appointment. Tammy says she and her mother have tried to reason with the park manager, but they say he hasn't been available to talk in person at his office. I just want them to reverse what they're doing and let these people pay them the, uh, the three months and give us a chance to get on our feet. With late fees and other fees added, $516 is the total owed to Amherst Ridge. Plus, there is the threat of being sued. And they're trying to take us to court according to this. This alone is unsafe. It was last summer when Lori Myers told us she was being kicked out of Amherst Ridge because her grass was too high and she didn't maintain her home. Miss Myers found a lawyer. He argued her case in court, and Amherst Ridge and resolved the case, reversing its decision. We have nowhere to go. With half a month before they are forced to move, we contacted Amherst Ridge's corporate owner. Yes, communities rights. We recognize the unfortunate circumstances befallen these residents, and we are working with them to reach a repayment plan so they can remain in the community. It's okay. Come on, Ken. Tammy and her mother hope that Amherst Ridge will be able to work out that plan because moving would be an extreme hardship for them. Now, so far, the management at Amherst Ridge has not yet gotten in touch with Tammy and Phyllis. We talked with them just a few moments ago. April 15th is the deadline for them to move out or to be taken to court. It will likely be the end of April before they receive that emergency grant. We'll let you know how it goes. Bo and Lori? Well, let's hope they get something worked out here. I hope so. Yeah. That was heartbreaking when Phyllis said we, we have nowhere to go. Right. Exactly. Goodness. All right. Again, thank you, Don. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wate.com or give him a call. His six on your side hotline is 865-633-5974.